What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Obviously today we're in my garage again and what we're going to be focusing on for this video is the new SYX Moto 125 pit bike. So I've had this bike now for about two weeks. Um, went through the whole uh, braking process which I'll uh, dive into a little bit more and explain. And now um, I think it's finally time to go ahead and do the first oil change on this. Get that crappy um, Chinese shipping oil out of there. Put some uh, pretty good motor oil in there so we can uh, preserve the life of this pit bike for as long as possible and maintain, um, you know, good riding and good health, good motor health, basically. So yeah, guys, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Basically just the first kind of service on this pit bike. Uh, talk about the break-in period and talk about my, uh, I guess my first uh, little experiences with this bike. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video. Yeah, so like I was saying, I've had this bike now for about two weeks. I only actually have maybe two hours of actual riding time on this since, um, you know, you do want to go ahead and take it easy on this bike, on these bikes and do a, uh, I guess, a proper break-in period. The people that uh, sold it to me, they, they just said, you know, go ahead, full send it. And, um, you know, that's their opinion. Not I'm gonna do things my way. I've always had other dirt bikes before that uh, had to go through a proper braking period, so I treated this one uh, no differently. So the way I did it for my braking period is I actually left the um, transportation oil or you know the factory oil in the motor. Um, I let it heat cycle, basically you know start up the bike, let it get up to full temp, uh, let it run, let it idle for a little bit. Um, I did experience a little bit of um, idling issues with the carburetor, I had to adjust the um, idle screw on there. Obviously it was, you know, bolted in all the way in there from the factory. So I went ahead and tuned that a little bit, but I'm also getting a little bit of issues with the carburetor itself. Um, once I take the choke off, not, you know, wanting to stay in idle, kind of bogging out. I was fully expecting that with the research that I've done. So um, I do have a Makuni carburetor on the way that I'm going to be switching out. But I will say the carburetor, um, it really it hasn't been terrible. I've seen a lot of other people say that theirs were absolute dog shit. This one isn't 100% dog shit, maybe 50%. But uh, you know, I was still able, you know, to get out there and ride on it, so I can't really complain. It didn't die on me or anything, so you know, I guess it could be worse. But uh, yeah, that's for a future video. But like I was saying, for braking period, I let it heat cycle twice. You know, let it get all the way up. You know, temperature wise let it come back down, start it back up again, let it, the temperatures get back up in there. Basically just want to get, you know, the oil flowing throughout the motor, make sure, you know, everything seats nice and tight and everything, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. So like I was saying, um, heat cycle twice, and then I more or less just took it out for, um, you know, basically two hours of riding, not two hours straight, maybe 30 minutes one day, maybe 20 minutes the next day. 30 minutes the next day, you know, basically I've gotten about two hours of riding over the last two weeks. I know that's not a lot, but you know, with work and everything, it is what it is. So after this, basically, I think it's time to go ahead, get this crappy oil out of there, throw some good motor oil in there, you know, basically let it cycle back up to heat again. And then, you know, we should be good as far as riding goes with the oil. Um, I will also definitely recommend um, when you are doing this to go ahead and change out the spark plug as well. The spark plug that's in there, just another cheap, you know, Chinese spark plug. Go ahead, get a NGK spark plug. They're relatively cheap. Just throw it in there. You know, you're going to get good spark. It's going to be reliable. It's worth it. All right, I've talked enough. So let's go ahead and get this uh, oil change started. Going to need a little socket set here. Over here, obviously. This is where the oil goes in right here. So you got a little dipstick with that's built onto the knob there. You see, just twist that out, and that comes out. There's your dipstick built onto there. Um, I don't know if I've already said this, but this is a 125 cc four stroke um, life fan engine. You know, the YX, you know, very common Chinese pit bike engine. You know, if you have a 125, you more than likely have this exact same engine. So, oil change is going to be universal throughout all the other Chinese pit bikes. So, right here, dipstick with the oil right down here. That's gonna be your oil drain right there. Uh, with SY Moto has the skid plate here, but it's nice they have the little hole right there so you can go ahead and uh, you know, get your socket in there to, you know, obviously get that out. And now you're obviously gonna wanna have something down here to catch that oil. 
Now for oil, you could go ahead and throw in breaking oil. I just used the oil that was in there. So I already actually had this and this is actually the weight that everyone recommends is a uh, 10W40. Now, um, a lot of people were saying don't use a full synthetic. So this is pretty luckily that I already had this on hand and it is a non-synthetic motor oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Now, um, everyone also says that you should be going about three quarters of the way on this. So right about to about that line right there. And that should be doing the trick, but obviously you always wanna go ahead and double check with the um, dipstick unless uh, you, you know, you're running a higher CC motor or a different variant that has a little window where you can see that oil levels. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw you guys down on the tripod and get this thing done. All right, let's go ahead and get this done. There's really not going to be too much oil in here because like I was saying, this is just the shipping oil or the you know, breaking oil from the factory. You can really see right there, it is super thick. So obviously, you know, I, I let it you know break in through there. So it's going to be a little bit thick, a little worn out. And again, this is super shitty cheap oil anyway. So we've got to let that drain and then we can go ahead, get the new oil in there. Um, from what I've uh, seen on the research, like I showed you on there, um, I guess it's somewhere between seven and eight, 800 milliliters is what you wanna throw in there. Um, I guess I'm just gonna split the difference, go about 750. So, yep, let's just let this drain and then we'll go ahead and uh, throw the new oil in there. actually had a line on there that showed me where it was torqued to prior. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Now let's go ahead, get the new oil in there. Of course, I don't have a smaller filter than this. So hold on one second while I MacGyver something together. All right guys, we're back. I just signed the fuck out of this little funnel. Look at that thing. Awesome. So. Head now and fill up this, <laughs> this motor with the oil. Like I was saying earlier, somewhere between 700 and 800 milliliters. You decide how much you want to use. We're gonna fast forward, guys. We're still going, guys, I'm sorry. All right, so that took way longer than I anticipated, but this thing worked perfectly, so I'm a little proud of myself right now. So like I was saying, I went ahead and put uh, 700 milliliters in this. So one of these uh, uh, quarts, uh, 950 milliliters just about. So if you're gonna put in, you know, 750, you're obviously gonna be cut off there at that 200 milliliter, you know, remaining point in there. But obviously you wanna go ahead and double check with the dipstick. Again, this is the dipstick there. It has the little triangles there where you can measure. So let's go ahead. Get that dipstick in there, and we can see, yep, it's right on there. There's a little bubble right on there, so we should be good. And 
that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you change the oil on a 125 Chinese pit bike. Super simple, um, should only take you maybe 10 minutes max. Super inexpensive, it costs, uh, I think the oil was three bucks. So yeah, super inexpensive. And like I was saying before, this would be a prime opportune time to go ahead and change out the spark plugs as well. Yeah, obviously right here, this is where the spark plug is. So yeah, I was a little far away then, wanted to go ahead and show you guys up close and personal. So you see right here, this is the spark plug, uh, spark plug cap basically that goes in over the spark plug. And then you can see right in there, I've already gone ahead and changed it out for a uh, NGK spark plug. The uh, cheap ones that you get with the bike, um, you know, they're only going to be good for so long before they'll fall out. So just go ahead, throw in a new spark plug, you know, when you go ahead, change you know, on your first oil change. Um, I typically change spark plugs every time I change the oil and I change the oil relatively frequently in my dirt bikes. I'm probably going to do the same with this again. I totally plan on upgrading this motor or engine when it uh, inevitably goes out. I've been looking at the um, Piranha 150 or maybe even a 170, so we'll see whatever's available at the time. But yeah guys, that is how you change the oil and how I do my break-ins for my dirt bikes. Again, super inexpensive, super simple to do. Um, if you're new to bikes, don't be intimidated. You know, the best way to learn is to just go ahead and try it out. So if you like this video, guys, go ahead, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm always doing videos like this. So if you're new, you know, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, stick around for a, lot, a while. You might like it. I'm also still giving away those uh, core 4x4 LCAs. As soon as I hit the 2000 subs, you can win those or 150 bucks cash. So guys, that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you guys uh, sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.